I'm cooking on the aga what uh, I will, I guess I'll call um, lockdown stew. Basically, I'd thawed lots of lamb chops and I had food because I had visitors who were coming. And because it's more than we can eat ourselves, I'm making a stew of the leftover vegetables that won't last very long. Like these mushrooms I've peeled, they're gonna go in. You can do this with vegetables and meat and all kinds of things. Then these tomatoes, some of them are kind of squishy. You can see like squishy like that. But that doesn't matter. If they're being cooked, it doesn't matter. So they're all going in there. Then I had some peppers, some, um, what is that stuff called? Uh, well, there's leeks at the bottom of this, but this is um, fennel root and leeks. And some of them were slightly past their due by date as far as what they looked like. But putting them all in here and making a stew out of all these vegetables, it'll make it a really, really delicious uh, cooked meal. And then uh, once it's all cooked, I can have we can have some for tonight. And then I can freeze batches of it in the deep freeze and we'll have a good stew. So this we could call this a lockdown stew. Uh, so that no vegetables go to waste, or meat for that matter. Now, I've stirred in all the vegetables. The meat's kind of had its pre-cooked. This is on the left hand, the hot ring of the aga. This is the simmer ring, this is the hot ring. And what I'm gonna do is um, put the lid on. So this is the lid. And I'm gonna put it in this in the, um, top right hand oven, which is this oven, this is the roasting oven. But the pot that I'm putting in is so big, so I'm taking the shelf out, you see there's a shelf. And the shelf is how you adjust heat. If you put the shelf up or down, if you're baking or roasting is how you do it. And then I'm gonna put this in, in this top hand oven for a period of time. I've got to stop the video because I've got to do it with two hands. It's so big. Here is this stew is going in this oven. You can see there. And then I close this oven up and I'll leave it in there for about a half an hour. Um, I've got to close this down. The lids keep the heat in to make sure that the hot plate stays hot and the kettle stays on top so it boils quickly. But the stew will stay in there for about a half an hour, and then I will put it into this oven, which is kind of like the simmering oven. And when it goes in there, it'll be in there for like um, four hours or something, slowly stewing away, which is where the term stew comes, because it stews away. So this is the hot oven's plate um, shelf out while the big stew is in there. So that's the making of lockdown stew. So it's doing a beautiful job. I found this leftover bit of Krabby's apples I'd used for basting something earlier last week, and I'm just gonna add that into the stew. So, more and more, I'm making myself a cup of tea as well. So that's going to stir that up a little bit. Just loosen it all up so it doesn't get but the meat will, there are chops, but the meat will fall off. 